Hi guys, it's Gabby. Today I am going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm so excited for this video because I haven't filmed a get ready with me in literally so long, but it's early today. It's four o'clock and today is my, we're celebrating my cousin Amanda's graduation from high school. Yes, in July, cause you know, everything going on. Also, I took off my tips and I painted my nails this really pretty color. It's like a sparkly, like orangey gold. I don't know, it's really pretty and I like it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start doing my makeup. I have not filmed a get ready with me in literally so long and that's because it's so hard for me to film and like do makeup at the same time. I mean, I do it, but it's just like hard for me, I guess. And I don't know, every time I film it, cause I filmed so many get ready with me's before and then I end up deleting them because I'm like, oh girl, what, where, what are you saying? So I'm kind of just gonna go through it with this one cause I mean, whatever, it is what it is. But yeah, so I think the last one that I filmed was right before my birthday in March. And I honestly, looking back at that video, I don't love it because I don't like the setup that I did. And I feel like I just looked bad and everything. I don't know. But yeah, so this is a better setup. Like I said, it's early in the day. So I'm sitting in front of my mirror, my mirror, <laughs> sitting in front of my window. And yeah, so we have some good light going on. I have my tripod and everything. And if you guys have been <laughs> a subscriber, for a while then you know that i actually used to film my videos here so this is an iconic space where where do i film my videos now oh i film it on my desk with my big light but because we have some natural light going on i can do with the natural light and i don't have to use the ring, ring light okay so i'm going to apply a little bit i almost forgot to apply foundation i was like girl do i put it on my face or what i'm not going to apply that much foundation only because it's so hot today and I literally stepped outside and I was like, girl, we're not doing this, no. So I'm going to apply a small amount. I just can't not apply foundation because I just need a base covering. Like, I'm just not that girl who can just apply concealer. I do it sometimes if I'm, like, going to the beach or if I don't really care that much about my appearance. But I want to look cute today, so we are applying foundation the one that i'm using is the milani i love this one i've used it for so long now i think i've had it for just so many years actually i want to put my chair up because i can like barely see okay but yeah so not applying that much and then we'll use a bunch of concealer to cover it up also another thing i'm so pale right now i did go to the beach twice but because of you know i guess new jersey weather it's I just I get tanner whenever I'm like on vacation because the weather there just hits different if you know you know so but plus it hasn't like been that hot lately so I don't have a massive tan and I'm just not a big tanner person I do have one tanner but I don't know it's kind of orangey plus I haven't done it in literally such a long time so I type forgot what it looks like but yeah so this one anyways my point in saying all that is this foundation, even though it's in the shade Creamy Vanilla, it is a little bit dark for me if I apply a lot. So that is why I'm not applying that much because I don't want to look too tan. Alright, so I'm just blending this all out. Literally have the smallest forehead ever and I hate it because, I mean, I like my forehead, but it's just annoying when I do makeup because, girl, it gets everywhere. If you have a small forehead, then... You know what I'm talking about. Now that my foundation is all blended, I'm noticing that it doesn't look as full coverage because normally when I put on this foundation, it's like full, full coverage. But like I said, I do not want to apply a lot because it's hot as heck outside. Also, I learned this new thing from TikTok. If you've guys been doing it, let me know. It's so good. Like I don't know why I ever packed on my concealer the other way before. Oh my God, my hair is sticking to my makeup. I'm hmm, gonna go a lot today. I never really do all this, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, so just blending this out. So how have you guys been? Comment down below what you guys have been up to. Honestly, quarantine is like slowly coming to an end. I just can't believe it. I feel like March and April went by so slow. And then it was like June, July. Like March and April was so slow and then July and June and July were May, June and July, sorry, were so quick to go by. I don't know if that's just me. 
I was talking to my best friend Anna and she like completely agreed with me. She was like, yeah, like, I don't know. I just remember like waiting for my birthday to come. I was like, oh my God, like, when is my birthday going to be here? And then it was here and then it just kind of flew by after that. But yeah, so haven't really been doing much, you guys. Just honestly staying home. I've been doing online school, I think I told you guys. And I'm so happy because it's literally almost over. It's over in one week or technically two weeks. But what I did, I'm smart. So right now I'm in unit seven and unit eight is the last unit and every unit's a week. So this week is unit seven and the next week is unit eight. But I basically already started all of my assignments for unit eight. So all I have to do is just like post it. I'm trying to do it like that so that I could just be over with my entire schooling this week, if that makes sense. So hopefully I can get it done. I have to write a five to seven page paper about migration and like i have to pick someone to like write a story about so i chose my grandparents from my mom's side because i actually visited their um old homes like where they grew up in in portugal so i thought it would be interesting to talk about and i wrote three pages today so literally right before i came to film this video i filmed three pages which is really good so i need technically only two more but i don't know we'll see what i can get done all right, so I think this is pretty much all blended out. I should have done my forehead first. I don't know why, but whenever I do concealer on my forehead, it just never blends out the right way. I think I just have to accept that <laughs> I'm ugly and nothing ever looks good on me. Just kidding, I shouldn't say that. Foundation and concealer is all blended out. Now time for some bake. So I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in here and just bake underneath the eyes and also the sides of my nose i've been learning a lot of new things on tiktok i feel like we all did <laughs> everyone kind of downloaded it as a joke and now we're like addicted that was definitely me i'm not gonna lie i got it at first i thought it was cringy i was like what the heck like, this is cringy i'm not gonna get it and then i was like okay i get it now i downloaded it and then i at first i just you know would look at tiktok and i wouldn't even spend hours on it it would just be like here and there and then i started watching it every night before bed and i would spend like two hours on it every night because it's literally so addicting oh my god i i favorite the funniest things and i don't know i love it and now i make tiktoks too so if you guys want to check them out it'll be in the description box along with all of my other social media sorry forgot my eyeshadow palette so yeah definitely follow me you guys i love i love 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 when i have a lot of you dm me on instagram and follow me and stuff like that i reach out to literally everyone i love when you guys dm me and stuff like that even if it's not to just say like oh i love you like just to talk to me about anything like i have i've had someone you know dm me to ask me questions oh how do i start a youtube and you know stuff like that and someone also had dm'd me um talking about their chronic hives because i also have it so it's it's cool i like talking with you guys it's it's awesome because it's like a lot of the times you know when, oh every time i make a video i'm basically you know <laughs> talking to myself it's not like i can you know get comments in real life from all of you so when you respond back or whenever you guys comment it just makes me feel good because i'm like oh you know it's like they're responding back and i'm talking to someone so i love it and i respond to all comments and everything like that okay so now that i have just some eyeshadow on i have to do that because my eyelids get very oily especially in the summertime that's the only thing that on my face that gets like really oily i feel like i have combination skin so it kind of just depends you know which it kind of sucks because i feel like my skin is more dry than oily like even in the summertime i feel like i'll have some dryness and it's really weird i don't know but i try to like you know keep up with it or whatever so i'm just applying a small light amount of powder i want to get like a new powder because i've been using this palette from anastasia beverly hills and i absolutely love it but i want like a powder powder if you guys know so if anyone has like a really good press powder for like the face then definitely let me know because i wouldn't even know what to get i'm not someone who regularly goes to buy new makeup only because 
I don't need to. It's not like I'm a makeup artist or I know how to do like crazy eyeshadow looks and I don't know, I don't do all of that. So I basically stick with the same exact products over and over again, which I love. You know, I used to back then, I remember in high school when I wasn't even good at makeup, I used to buy like five foundations and you know all these bronzers and all these highlights and all these lipsticks and it's just like in the I didn't even end up use all, using all of them so I remember one day I just got rid of so much of my makeup gave some away and obviously everything that was no longer good because makeup does expire you guys especially mascaras make make sure that you're you know regularly changing it or closing it correctly and not sharing mascaras because that's how you can get infections in your eyes and styes and stuff like that so now my makeup is very very you know limited and small but i like it because i have everything that i need the thing that i have the most of is highlight <laughs> i have so much highlight but i feel like highlight never really goes bad i mean i'm sure you know there's an expiration on it but i'm not gonna throw out a pan of highlight you know I, feel like I haven't even hit pan on any of them because i use it so much but it's like it's highlight like you guys know what i mean okay so now time for bronzer which is my favorite step in makeup Oops, this is the wrong brush okay i don't know what that sound was sorry so down the nose i saw this thing that nikki tutorials posted about the bronzer thing i tried it i don't really think it does all of that so i'm gonna uh, sorry i had to burn. i'm gonna fix it because i know that looks a bit crazy all right i gotta sit up for this because i can't really see okay another thing that i learned with makeup is i used to go like this like down with the bronzer and i realized that it's actually making your face look bigger by going in a downward motion so by going like this and starting from here and not here it actually lifts your face another thing that i learned from tiktok and it's crazy because like we do all these things that we don't we don't even realize and it's like it doesn't make sense like for the longest amount of time everyone was doing the triangle of concealer under the eye that i had mentioned and i did that as well thinking that it would you know cover and i guess it did i mean you're brightening your under eyes but in reality i guess you're not really doing anything except for applying more of a foundation so now the lifting thing that i do i definitely see a bigger difference and it still you know conceals my face and i'm applying less amount of makeup which is good because i don't like feeling like i have a ton of makeup on so for me it works nice i love this bronzer you guys I've been using this bronzer for years and years and years. It was actually my mom that got me into it. She went makeup shopping one day and just got a random bronzer and it happened to be this one. This is the Becca in the shade Bronze Bondi, my favorite bronzer ever. I don't remember, I don't even remember what I used before this. I think it was the um, Kat Von D contour kit, but that was more of a contour. This was the first bronzer that I had used. Now that I applied all of my bronzer, I'm going to fix it up with some loose powder because it's looking a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna just really chisel that out. Oh, so satisfying. I remember before I would go like that and that literally did nothing. So doing this is so much better. Whoo, that was a good one. Woo, oh my God, okay. Yeah, that's nice and good. And then what I like to do is take the little bit that I have left. If you have to dunk it again, you can. But I like to go, like I said, the sides of my nose. I don't really have a, a big nose or anything like that but I just feel like it makes the makeup look better if that makes sense so I just literally go like that on the sides I don't know Nikki tutorial said it so I'm doing it um okay so what do we have next okay blush so I'm gonna leave this on for a bit the blush that I like to use oh I have an itch ah sorry oh I still have it okay <laughs> I got it now the blush that I like to use is the Milani. I absolutely love this one, but actually I'll apply it now. I'm going to be using this brush. Another tip that I learned, you're not supposed to apply your blush at the ball of your cheek. That's also what I used to do. Um, you're supposed to blend it in with the bronzer. So I'm going to try it out. This is like a get ready with me with tips, <laughs> tips that I got off TikTok which probably half of you already know. 
I'm not like a makeup artist or anything, but I try. I feel like I do makeup pretty well on myself. Okay, so that looks cute. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Have a video to film after this too. All right, good enough. And next, taking the big brush that I have, dipping into the palette, I'm just going to blend this out. Yeah, definitely helped a lot. And then for this part, and also what I like to do is go back in with the palette and kind of just go like this. Look at that, so much better. And then blending it in with my forehead. I'm going to do my brows, but I'm gonna speed this part up because I need some concentration. use the dip brow by Anastasia I'm gonna be taking this Sephora brow gel and you know they get crazy and stuff so this really helps keep them in their place two steps left okay mascara this is the L'Oreal lash paradise and I'm going to be applying this to my eyelashes Avi I like to make them super long rather than oh man damn it I'll get that after you can't even see it but I did get mascara on my face I don't like to apply that much on the bottom because I just feel like it looks weird I used to do that but I don't do that anymore when your brother doesn't know how to properly take a shower. Okay. All right, so eyelashes are done. Woo, they're looking good. Do I have another? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna use this spoolie. Oh, oh my God, something got in my eye. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. Alrighty, now for lips. Lips, I literally, this is um an eyeliner, but I like to take it for my lips. Hmm, my lip is peeling. That was weird. Okay, I need to take off this previous chapstick because it's mixing with the foundation and that is not a cute look okay so I like to focus on the outer and then the top okay I need a little bit of chapstick and then I blend it out with my fingers so it's not so harsh and then the lipstick that I use is from Morphe and I don't apply too much of this because it is super dark unless I want like you know a dark look sorry you guys oh okay and I'm gonna pop off on some pop on some concealer not concealer chapstick mm. See what I mean, you guys? Can't do two things at once. Okay, and that is the end, or that's the final look, you guys. Okay, 
think I'm done. I'm gonna close my little light. Okay guys, so that is the end of this get ready with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely will be doing more of these because I actually miss them. Even though they're annoying, I can never do two things at once. It was fun. I liked sitting in front of the mirror. I felt like it felt more authentic instead of having the big ring light and me worrying about how I look if I'm just being honest. I love you guys so much. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!